Let's do them. You should be finished. But I noticed that some of you like to write the question down fully. Good English practice? Yes. Mm. Good. Well, it helps your English? Yes. Okay, good. And how many have you done? Andy? I do. Two. You have two. And then. You're finished. Okay, Grace? What's that? Zero? I need one two more minutes. One more minute? An hour please, please. Okay, one more minute. Then we'll do it really quick and then um, we'll have a look at the next lesson. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it will be a familiar lesson. You know? A lot of homework questions. I never give lots of homework questions. Uh, one question, ten more questions. Why? Only one question, though. Mm -hmm. Overall, it's one. I'm kind. Yeah. Oh my God. Which one are you on, then, Amanda and Sohi? Which one are you doing? One. Okay. You say tree is too hard? Hey, Sharon. Who are you talking to? No one. Let me guess. Hey, want to check out Batman tomorrow? <laughs> I'll buy the popcorn. They need large popcorn. Mm -hmm. For sharing. <laughs> they don't like the taste. Only I like the taste. They don't like popcorn? No, she likes the taste. Popcorn. I, like, I, like I like the caramel popcorn. popcorn. I think it's sweet popcorn. You like sweet popcorn, okay. And every cinema. It's always the salty one, right? Yeah. Yeah. In Malaysia, we always have the caramel popcorn. You have sweet, pop here. sweet popcorn. Yeah. Nice. It's it's I like both. It's my first time to eat the salty popcorn. You don't like it? When I was seven years old, my dad was a nurse and buy me a whole box of salty popcorn. And from that on, I only <laughs> eat salty popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what's it like in uh, Korea then? Salty or sweet popcorn? Korean people speak for uh, caramel. Caramel popcorn in the cinema. And also like some garlic, garlic popcorn. Like they mix garlic popcorn. Like, like they mix. Many yeah. kind of popcorn. But garlic popcorn. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Okay, I understand. I, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Anything happens in Asia. Yeah. Uh, I understand the cheese because the cheese is like butter. But garlic. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really garlic. Strong smell. Okay, a little garlic. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it sometime. This is for some. The garlic is caramel popcorn. Which is wonderful? Garlic, garlic popcorn is caramel popcorn. Garlic, garlic, garlic and caramel. This is wonderful. Agree? Wow. Okay. That's amazing. I'm going to try that and see if it's true. Um. Okay. So the first one here. There's also wasabi popcorn. Uh, wasabi popcorn. <laughs> Spicy popcorn. Spicy popcorn. Spicy. All right. And big Coke, Coke. Yes, and a big Coke. Sounds great. Okay, so what's the frequency of the Wi-Fi router? 2.4 Four. Giga. giga. And the V is 3 times 10 to the 8. Uh, meters per second, yep. So then the lambda is C over V, which is... C and V, right? Of course it is. Right. That's stupid. Sorry. C over F. Okay, two now. Right, so look, the Wait, frequency. Why is it stopped at five? It doesn't. Why is what? Isn't it zero by one to five? Yeah, 
centimeters. Oh, okay. What's the frequency in the next one? Ten to the fourteen hertz. So what's the wavelength here? Uh, let's get that frequency. You know this. You know this. Okay. So the wavelength here is five hundred and fifty nanometers. And this, if you remember from your picture, is red. red. No, it's not red. No, no, hang on. Green. Red, orange, yellow, green. Green? Green, okay. Green light. Ah. Yes? Number three. Well, see, all this is green. Yes? Mm. Empty space. Vacuum. Green. The electrons connect to the waves. Yes, yes. Uh, tree. <coughs> when will the light become visible? So you remember that you have red, orange, yellow. Invisible. Yeah. First visible. Red, orange, yellow, green, all the way down to blue. Okay. Um. This is. Uh, high frequency and this is low frequency and then after this is ultraviolet you remember so the uh, light becomes no sorry that's wrong um, I have I have it the other way around I have the wrong way around don't I hang on um, the down this end away from the red I don't have purple. Hi. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And then this end here is the ultraviolet from the sun, which hurts your skin that you can't see. So uh, what did I say is the wavelength here. When do you get ultraviolet? 10 to the minus? Uh, the lowest one. Yeah. Uh, 7. Minus eight. No, it's 4 times 10 to the minus 7. Minus eight. So minus 8 is when you get the ultraviolet. So my question is, what's the frequency of this light? So frequency equals C over lambda. <coughs> Isn't it just uh, at this, at this, so after 4 times 10 power and 10 Ah, yeah, but it's kind of a bit, if I jump all the way to the minus 8, it's definitely going to be ultraviolet, because it's, it's it's starting to become invisible at that point. I uh, I don't know how exact it is. So at frequency 3 times 10 to the 8 hertz, sorry, 10 to the 16 hertz. Okay, is that okay? And the last question. Yes? Did I not tell you today? Did I tell you, UV? On, on your when you drew the when you drew the spectrum, did I give you the this? Yeah, where's UV visible? But did I not tell you it? Oh, I did. Yeah, ten to the minus eight. Uh, ah, yeah. here, here. Oh. Oh, oh. All right. Because it's outside of there, I saw it. So here, up here, it's radio. No, 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 not radio. Other side. Okay, number four. Electromagnetic waves with a frequency equal to or greater than UV are harmful to humans. These waves can cause cancer, like skin cancer. Are waves from mobile phones harmful in this way? No. 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 It's not simple. It's very simple. The frequency of the phone is less than the frequency of ultraviolet light and that's enough of a reason. Uh, why does ultraviolet light uh, harm us? This is more of a chemistry biology thing but 
Uh, we'll see a reason why in semester two, but it's damaging to the cells because basically if the cell gets enough... Have you done ionization? Yes. yes. So what happens with ultraviolet is this light has enough energy to ionize um, electrons in your cells and the free electrons can uh, then damage and collide into oh, the cells, DNA. Oh, cells have electrons. I know, well, there's a he did biology there for a few weeks, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's electrons... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, within cells, energy is transported around by moving electrons. So, uh, what I don't know, whatever the process is, uh, the cell moves energy by moving electrons from one place to another. So there's electrons inside the cell. The ultraviolet light would ionize one, some of the electrons, and if you have electrons moving around inside the cell, it can collide with the DNA at the center and then damage the DNA. This doesn't happen with mobile phones. The frequency is too small, not enough energy. So, uh, for example, what else would be harmful? Well, X-rays are bad for you because they're bigger than UV frequency. This is the critical, not critical, the point, the point where frequencies less than this are safe and frequencies greater than this will harm you. So the phone is safe? Completely safe. I can put it under my Yeah, no but problem. But I know that if you keep No, 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 it's just fake. complete fake nonsense. Okay. Yeah. So I can't tell her no. You can <laughs> tell her. It's definitely, definitely a no. And the reason is anything less than that is safe. So for example, this is safe because it's less than UV. The Wi-Fi is safe, it's less than UV. Mobile phone, microwave, all this less than UV. Yeah? My mom said you shouldn't put your phone under the pillow. And she put her phone under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> That's mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay.